All right, I'm hoping that we are back in business and that you're all having a, a good chill time. It is the hour mark, which is pretty makes this very simple. I am installing the game right now. <laughs> uh No, I do no Steam. I do not want Deep Rock Galactic Survivor to update right now, please. I am back online, right guys? Or did I make some mistake? Awesome. Cool. So this is going to be jank as fuck, because uh, you're going to watch me set this up live. Twitch was being shit. Okay, well, you you can see me now, then that's fine. We, we, start, we restarted the stream. I had to restart the stream. So yeah, let's uh, get this game on. Let's get Hilux 2 up. So. Finally some behind the scenes action. Oh my god, the game went full screen immediately. Holy shit. This is such a high... Oh no. Oh my god, if you guys could see what I'm looking at right now. What does input mean? What the fuck? Okay. Uh... Oh boy. What's that? What's that keyboard command to instantly, um... Menu is Q? Oh, 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 menu is Q? Wait. Oh my god. Please tell me I can get this game out of full screen. Okay, guys. Can you press escape? I don't know about that. No, escape is not doing it. Well, well, well. Do you guys remember what that universal uh, thing is to minimize, to like uh, minimize a, a full screen window? Not minimize it, but like uh, change the full screen window. It's it's like one of the F keys. Hold on, I'll go look it up. Sorry about this. It's probably jank as fuck to have to witness. You know what I just realized also? I don't have my fucking air conditioner on. Hold on a moment. So I think the way I'm going to look this up is a uh, windowed mode RPG maker, because that's when I first had to learn this lesson. Uh, or rather, is there a command that makes it full screen? That also is the same thing. F1? Okay, let's see if that works. No, that did not do anything. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Alt, enter, or control F. Okay. Alt, enter. Okay. Alt enter worked. What about okay? What and let me let me see. Alt enter and what about Control F four? No. Okay. Alt enter. This is the way we have to do this. Oh my god, the game is freaking out. Hold on. Okay. All right. F eleven and F seven. Okay. All right. I'll try. I'll also try those. Yeah. Is the window mode I just got out of out of uh, Alt enter is a very large windowed mode. I'll tell you what. Okay. Okay, uh, those are not working. That is fine. We will set the game up the way it is, which is totally... Which is not impossible by any means whatsoever. All right. Holy moly! It's massive! I told you. You get to see this all... Uh, all alive. Woo, the magic. The magic. Holy moly. Okay. You know, you know, something that this means is that we can turn the little, little back end back on. Yeah. Very cool. This game, this game's intro was pretty crazy, but all right. Welcome to Hilux 2, everybody. This is a much more advanced game than the last one. Apparently. My immersion is broken and now I am truly part of the stream. <laughs> like, I went here to input... Does WASD get used? I don't think so. Does Enter get used? Enter doesn't get- or, uh, Spacebar doesn't get used anymore, but Enter does. Interesting. Like, I, I went in here and I was like, well, how do I change the screen? And there's just- there's nothing that does that, so... <laughs> New game, let's go. Default controls, jump, spacebar, menu, Q. Move is arrows, accept is enter. View and customize controls via the options menu. <laughs> what? 
What the fuck? All right, well. We, we are gonna change some things going on here. Oh, fucking really? What? It's in this, but not the main menu. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Well, is it fine? Hold on. I gotta check to see to make sure that, uh... There aren't... There isn't stuff I'm missing. You know what? There is stuff I'm missing. So that means we should go in here. Okay. That did nothing. Okay, hold on. There we go. That's better. That's much better. So much better. I much prefer this. Um, I do want to also enable WASD. Crazy shift in quality, good on the crater. Yeah, I agree. It's very cool. Also, this game is like more of an eight hour game, so it's going to take us like 10 to 12. So we'll be at this near like the beginning of October as well, I'm sure. Toggle. Use mouse to control the input customization menu. So is WASD in no way are being used right now, so... Okay, move right. Woo, yay. I'm fine with spacebar being jump. I want accept, however, to be E. Dodge is C. Oh god, I don't. Let's have menu. No, 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 no. Let's have dodge be F. Do we have an F key being used? We don't. Let's have dodge be F instead. I'm fine with the menu being Q. I just really don't want... Oh, wait. Or maybe the dodge could be... Shift? Is shift being used? Shift is not being used. Let's... My favorite thing about this game is that Wayne is from a species of Wayne's all called Wayne! <laughs> That's hilarious. Done. Oh, wait, I somehow I somehow fucked up. I got the I somehow got these incorrect. I don't know how, but I just did. Done. Strange that they were reversed. Okay. So is this our Wayne? I don't know yet. So that's dodge. I wonder if that's relevant in, in like, uh, the RPG combat later. Oh my god, we move our chair around. <laughs> Funny. Change appearance? We can do that? Dude, we have a cape now! Oh wait, wait a minute, hmm. Oh, I think I see. I think there- so like there's like a... There's- there's male Wayne or female Wayne. Okay. I don't mind that as an option. I want to go with this one though because, you know, my impression is that this is the same one from the first game, so we'll go with him. What the fuck? Me when Wayne. I like biker jacket Wayne. Is that this one? Yeah, that, yeah. This is the Wayne house. Let's 
Oh, we're about to find a bunch of more other Waynes like that. This is the same Wayne. I, I like to call him Wayne Prime. I need to remember that space bars jump. <gasps> we can pet the animals! At least we can pet this one, at least. Interesting. Interesting jump mechanics. This is very like Sonic 3D type jumping. This weird isometric form of jumping. Wayne is on Prime. Oh, here's no there's another Wayne. There's more Waynes. Find some Xeno gears. The Wayne pillar. Learned Poromer Pleb. Bleb. Poromer Bleb. So the the words are still nonsense. I heard that uh, TVs bestow the techniques of of gestural combat. I should also lean back because the text here is so fucking big. There's no reason for me not to lean back. Whereas in the first game, it was so fucking small. Back when the accretion hit, the strongest gesture was buried. The accretion? That's like a geological term that has to do with plate tectonics, I think. So it's sort of what this implies to me that when the accretion hit, as in during uh, an earthquake, the strongest gesture or, you know, the strongest technique was buried. That's what that means, I think. That Wayne's floating. Maybe he's Wayne Prime because he's floating. I don't know. Slap. Starts combat with a timely slap. To gain a brief will bonus, slap. Did you talk to old Wayne? Slap. Up on the roof? Had a task for you. Oh, okay, I guess I could go to, Wayne, to old Wayne. What the fuck is this? Is this? This lore. I feel compelled to pet every single animal. What's in this basement here? Might be danger down here. Pools with fountains are linked to the afterlife. From there, you may return to any such pool you've previously entered. Cool. Okay. I like the, 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 the little Wayne Caterpillar cats. Any friendly animal that we can pet is always a bonus in a game. Especially if they're ugly little animals, because the ugly little animals need help. They need to be pet as well. Machines upstairs, warp pools past that, welcome to the afterlife. Cool. Is this just like a special power of Wayne, where like Wayne is able to enter an afterlife and then respawn? These Wayne larvas have just emerged. They'll be sent to the house when their carapace is hardened up. Oh wait, these are babies. Oh, these are... So this is like us, like, patting a toddler on the head. Okay. Oh my god! Okay, you can freely fall off cliffs. Who is this? You found meat. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's Wayne meat. 
We found a burrito! Yes! We have the meats and the burritos again! Is dodge just to get around quicker, maybe? Or is this going to be an element of combat or something? I'm not sure. Because my assumption... ...is that, uh... ...it's for probably some... I, my assumption is that this game is, was going to be... Wow, that's cool. My assumption was that this game was going to be, uh, another RPG. Based off that technique we absorbed, I still am going to assume that. Okay, those stairs are things probably go back to where we were. So let's get, let, let's actually get on the trampolines again and stay there and see what... Oh wait, this is that's a, that's an archway. Okay. What is this stuff? Would you like you gonna like select the destination? Wayne House. Oh, this is how we get back, right? Is that a vaguely feminine feature figure on that clay creature? An ad for Astrobot on TV. Good. That game needs to be uh, get out, get, needs to get out to the kiddos. Watch the tel the telebi the telebi. Clean means respite from bad statuses for a little while. Please go ahead. You become clean. Flashbang the screen. Hey, I'm using this one. Find your own. One meat tendered. Maximum flesh increased by one. Yes. Yes. Watch the Telby. Kirby TV. <laughs> but yeah, okay. The game is... is, be, is it, is more or less being as expected with a lot of the mechanics, like with uh, going to the afterlife in order to tenderize, in order to use your meat. It seems, though, though, that because of these the way the fountains are now, though, we can just go here whenever we want to to tenderize the meat, which is exactly what I'm hoping for. Cool. And he hit. He found empty. Found cookie. Found juice. Mini crystal. If you become trapped, use this to return to a prior spawn point. Oh, okay. Juice. Removes burning and restores will. Cookie. Removes poisoned. Dissolute and leak restores flesh. Burrito restores 65% of flesh and restores 25% of will. Removes dissolute. Cool. All right. This is cool. It's, it's different, but I like it. Hope we get to see, uh, prior characters and have more dialogue with them. Found Soul Sponge. What? Squeeze this sponge to revive a dead ally. What the fuck? Yep. Can't interact with the sink, which is fine. So, I was told I need to go talk to Old Wayne. Upstairs. Oh, so I need to. I went the wrong way. Um, isn't it? Wait, doesn't this go upstairs? Yeah, that does go upstairs. 
Oh, wait. Over here, I think. This is the way. Yeah, here we go. All right. The stars forecast a flourishing of prescribed gestures. Gippy's ancients work to reconstitute their master. <laughs> oh, we killed we we killed we killed Gibby. And now they're just trying to resurrect him. I love that. That's my favorite Power Rangers plot point of oh, the last villain is being is attempting to be resurrected. Proceed west and seek our ally, Blerol. That he might be forewarned. Blerol. Yeah, I'm gonna pronounce it like Carol, but with BL. Blerol. No, we can't let them rebuild him. We don't want them to have that technology. Alas, the others haven't completed their training. You will have to go alone. <laughs> you may proceed west and seek our ally, Blerol. Blerol in New Moldal. He'll aid us in combating Gibby's agents. Okay, the reason I did that right there is because I wanted to see if he would repeat it, but say a different, but call the city a, a new name. <laughs> Training, you mean waning? Oh. Where are we going again? Never. West, okay. Let's, ju let's uh, just jump off the, the, the side. I don't know. I have no reason to believe that there's like a. I have no reason to think that there's fall damage yet. Unless I go here. No, I took no fall damage from that, so. It's a very loud roll. All the Waynes, yeah. It's funny. They're all dancing. Actually, no, th these ones are learning how to jump. Those who bear new metaphors may dodge while airborne. Some may even briefly fly. Oh! I understand the anatomy of what's happening here. They're rolling on their side. You see, you see? We're rolling on our side. We don't roll head first because that our our weird head prohibits that, so we roll on our sides. That's so weird. Old Wayne says we got to be ready in case Gibby's reconstructed. Combats can often be avoided by rolling. Ah, that's the point. Right now, you already you already told us. Do you think I'll be able to roll as well as you if I keep training? Old Wayne says I can leave the house then. By holding down the jump button, one may slow their descent after many years of training, of course. Ah! You know what this says to me? This says to me there is fall damage, and we have to hold this button to make sure we don't take fall damage. But okay, so, we were told to go west. I do wonder... Oh. So going in the water just resets us. <laughs> okay. The only issue I have is that I want to know what happened to our original house in the first game. That's what I want to know. Hello there! Those who possess Pneumatophore may cross the sea north to view that to view Axe's edifice. Or Viwax? I think I might say Viwax. Because view acts, I don't know. That sounds weird. It sounds like it sounds like the name of like a of a streaming service <laughs> that you have to pay like a hundred dollars a month for. View acts. Okay. Again, I was trying to see if the the city's name would change.
We have to we have to get a power to fly across there. You're gonna kill John Twitch? <laughs> Man, there is there is a depth perception fuckery in this game. Like I can't tell what the height of a lot of these things are. Oh, I can roll, okay. Well out here. I didn't, I wasn't sure if I could. Cool, cool, cool. This probably isn't the city they wanted me to go to, but I'm intrigued by whatever this is. Also, I want to know where my original house is. That goes backwards, I think. What a fucking hilarious idea. Are these enemies or are they friendly creatures? These are enemies. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am dead. Snap. <laughs> okay, how do I leave? How, how do I how do I try to escape? Gesture. Perish! Proceed immediately to the afterlife! <laughs> they think weird happened to you? Not really. We just have to run back now. Which I'm not going to complain about. I wandered to a place when I had no party and no idea how strong everything relatively is speaking, so... Made perfect sense that I fucked that up. Yeah, those big red creatures were definitely not friendly. I wonder if red will consistently be used as an indicator of what entity wants to kill me and which one doesn't. This is where I'm sure I was supposed to go. This is how I play Wind Waker. Gotta go fast. So you do the most annoying thing ever because it makes you go faster. Hello, small creature. What are you? I don't know what these things are, but they're uh, doing stuff. Okay, so let's, uh, I guess, attune to this, and then immediately go back. Why are all of these... So, the Wayne Hatchlings... They start out in the afterlife, and then they grow into new Waynes, and then are sent up... And then they're sent 
to the Wayne house. So does that mean that like we're like weird outsider creatures? Some sort? Do moldal, yep. Are we like angels and or demons or something? Like what are we? Those, the, whatever those are, are, just can't interact with them. Welcome to New Moldal. Behold the splendor. That's it. Okay. Long ago, Lord Gibbalus wisely ruled this land. That prosperous era was cut short by wretched anarchists. Oh, hmm. Wait, why is there a Wayne hatchling here? Is this an appropriate place for him to be? For it to be? Like... Locked. Okay, I'm gonna... Jump up here to talk to you, then. They're doing that big excavation in the southwest. I tried to get closer, but was savagely womped by Galifor forms. I think I think that's the place that I went first and died at. Money can't glide yet, so there's no point in trying to go over there. That's locked. Calthamite husbandry brought us prosperity, but also made us a target for opportunists like Vi like uh, Viwax. Okay, whatever a lot of these things mean. That feels like it almost goes out of the city, does it? No, not really. I have no idea what is... Is that an arm? What a strange banner. I have no idea what the, what the object is supposed to be in that banner. It all comes down to thoughtful use of comestible comestibles. Com comestibles? 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 I have no idea what ink what word in English that is. Off the top of my head. If you beat pool man, burning is effective. Oh he doesn't give a shit. I have no money, so this is uh Wait, I have nine bodes. Bodes? Permanently increases power. Days like these? Wish you had an organ fort. <laughs> Same thing, okay. This is this guy has some items for us we could buy later in the game. But uh, not right now. I'm trying to jump. My space bar is malfunctioning. Slightly. Feels good to be this high up, surveying the land. Stem cell. Cupcake. Restores 50% of flesh. Cupcake grants defending. Okay. Stem cell. Restores 25 flesh. It applies long-lasting regeneration. Wow. Okay. We're eating straight-up stem cells. That's, uh, that's an interesting thing. I 
I like all these random clay children that you can't interact with. They just bounce around. <laughs> if only they were so resilient in real life. Just fucking, you know, Kirby can just bat them and then they'll be fine. Even as they plunge into the sun. It all happened so suddenly. Firewax's troops abducted the cafe owner. Without coffee, we'll be defenseless against spores. Random Clay Children gonna be the name of my mixtape. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Where where is this? Where where have I felt fallen down to? This game must be such high content. Uh huh. Is that all you had to say? Apparently, coffee protects them from spores of some kind. Calthamite husbandry brought us prosperity, but also made us target. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, we. I talked to you earlier. You're like a. You like run around. That's why. Yeah. I can't really touch the bugs right now. Guy is sleeping, I can't talk to him. Or can I? Never mind. I've fallen and I can't get up. When Hylethems are frondos, the harvest time's upon us. Sometimes we find them too late, and then you just have to tear them out before they turn bad. You hate to see that. The fronds are obviously valuable, but it's important to trim them anyways so you don't get pool men. Oh, <laughs> we know that pool men don't like being burned. But I don't know what a pool man is. Love laving, burrito synthesis, all starts with hylothems. Find a rich vein, translates to a lot of bones. Lot of bones. Hylothems? They're, hy they're hylum rich cave formations. You're just hearing about this now? <laughs> Clearly, a pool man is a man that owns an air fryer. Oh. Ooh. No, oh, that's an enemy! Oh, shit. Restores a third of the flesh. Right. Reduces power by 20% damaging flesh over time. Sure, let's, uh... Cave, Sinist, and Tyro. Tyro looks like a cool guy. We can see their health! Oh my god, did that just say... That just said Glaive Arc, and he proceeded to use an actual medieval glaive. Do you have any idea how long... The word glaive in fantasy has been used to describe objects that are not glaives. And then immediately this guy is using a glaive that's actually a glaive. That makes me happy. I wish I didn't have to kill him. Cupcake! I'm about to die, I think, unless I use some of my things. Or I use my, uh, Horomer Bleb. Uh, 
Oh my god! Still defending. Pyro departs! Oh, so sometimes the enemies run away. Okay, that's cool. That was a lot of damage. I like our glove hand. And this guy keeps healing himself more than I'm healing myself. Let's try and snap you. Graft. Again, healing. The enemies are not afraid of healing whatsoever. Vulnerable. Now I'm going to take bonus damage. Oh, I'm dead. Made a sandwich with chicken, egg, and mustard mayo, and now I'm sleepy, but it's only midday. Well, I mean, you told me you didn't sleep much, so obviously that makes sense. That sandwich sounds so good, though. God. If I didn't need to use up my own, use up my, uh, canned meat in my fridge, I would probably want, like, a burrito or a sandwich instead of noodles. But uh, that's probably what I'm gonna go with after the stream. Wait, do I have any... I don't think I have any more flesh, but I'll go take a look just in case. Yeah, I appear not to be uh, suited for combat quite yet. I'm uh I'm very very underpowered right now even though in the previous game I was uh I was level 63 at the end. It even said so. Actually wait, have I even bothered putting on equipment? No, I have nothing. Okay. I just have nothing. I believe jumping in this hole is what led. Heat me, oh son. You have nothing. This is this is Wayne's underwear. Oh my god. What the fuck? He wears these jacket or is this his skin? Are the are the Waynes just always like clad in black? leather as, like, their their biological skin. Wayne must have been depressed after his hero's journey and got out of shape. I guess. Slapping bugs is a great way to restore your flesh and will. Try it out sometime. I don't know how to do that. Slapping bugs? An impassable force field surrounds Odazir's forest for, fortress. I'd wager they've set up a, wor a worm remotely for the purpose. It's how I'd do it. Okay, I don't know who the fuck you are, though, so that, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. The Dismalm, how is it going? No, no, I am... I am Smoldundi. No, no, I am Smoldundi. The Dusmuln went north across the ocean, chasing rumors of active cabinets. The sages used cabinets to guard artifacts and perhaps even their long-lost gesture. Most have fallen into disrepair. 
The Dismold went north to, to Viwax's edifice, seeking a cabinet before the accretion. So this is what their species looks like in the in the game now. They're like, they have the weird like reverse tarantula head, and they're like covered in fur, like needle like fur. Our meditations turned more practical bodies. As our meditations turned more practical, bodies became largely superfluous. Is this a giant head? It is. This guy is Mega Mind. He's a floating head. When the accretion buried the sage's great ship, Disthlarn the moon, my wife and I were stranded here on the surface. What? I was not expecting that to happen. Okay. How do I get the last one? I have to somehow go further up. I think I have to go down and then go to a different elevate, uh, get here from a different elevation. You found boots! These nondescript boots offer a modicum of protection. Flesh and speed are up. Awesome. How do I get further up, though, to, to drop down from that distance over there? I wonder. I have to somehow get up there. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 this is making more sense as I walk around. More towers, okay. That's water. How do I get up to this place? I have to go further in this direction than go backwards? That's uh, pretty high up, can't... All right. This does not appear to be the way that I want to go. I don't know what else to do, though. So this is where we're going. You know, this is definitely like leaving the city. How do I get all the way in that uh, uh, that high place? We keep going here. Maybe something happens. That's a gate to a place that I cannot go. How do I get up here? Oh, don't tell me it was just jumping all along. Wait, maybe I jump from over there? Is it from here? Oh, okay. Wait, it's not working. Now it's working. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, there was- I could go- oh, oh. I missed this completely. Okay. I missed the other half of the city across the- the bridge. Oh, that probably goes out of the city as well.
I see a banana. No! No, I fell. Now we have to go all the way back. Banana will be mine. Potassium. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Okay. Found banana. Restore 75 flesh. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, there's also a door over here. Well, there's more than one door, I should say. At least I thought I saw another door. Also, where's the guy that I have to talk to? Isn't he supposed to be around here somewhere? Oh, fuck, I fell. May I go across the bridge now? Well, the second bridge, this bridge here. Ah, okay. This goes into another part of the city. All right, cool. Probably the... This probably goes to the guy that we have to talk to. I knew v Viwags would betray us, villainous slug. Chief Blairol is uh, not in at the moment, I'm afraid. Oh, feel free to go in, though. <laughs> Hello, bug. Hey, Sir Pongorma, what brings you to New Moldal? The tri-cushioned chair lies vacant. Lord Blairol has been abducted, taken north to view to Viwax's edifice. Old Wayne sent prescribed gestures and sent me to warn Blairol. He must be recovered. Just so. And I've sourced fresh uh, pneumatophores to facilitate our journey. I trust you need no instruction in their usage? I think they went over this at the Wayne house. Give me that. Got pneumatophore. You may regard the pneumatophore in your inventory to see a control summary. Pongorma, join the group! Woo! Everyone's looking all 3D and slender and stuff. Whoops. Things. Metaphor. While airborne, press left shift to air dash. Hold left shift to extend air dash. Oh god, okay. Is it a thing that we wear? No, it's a thing that we just hold on to. Now the question is, did that, did that, okay, that did not, that did not, uh, consume it. I was under the impression that that would, like, consume the, the thing, because it was in the, it had the one next to it. Also, let's look at, um, your powers. What do you have? Lightning. And also Porimer Bleb. Deals 175% as much damage as a basic attack. User is stunned for one turn. Wow, that kind of sucks, but... The combat is uh, apparently kind of harder. Oh, I also just realized there's they have a save function again. None may enter the treasure room so long as I remain here. Okay.
But my thought process now is I want to go back into the into the into the tunnels to grind experience. But I don't know if I'm I don't know if the two of us are strong enough to like beat any of those enemies down there or not. Maybe I need to go immediately north. Try and rescue, uh, Blairol. Oh, except we can't. Okay. Dock key required. I don't know what that means. Whee! Well, that was fun movement. I enjoyed that movement. I'm trying to figure out where, how, how, to, how to get back on land. Okay. Where the fuck am I? Okay, here we go. Ilex 2, the reunion tour. <laughs> More or less. So I can't go north yet. So do I have to go down here? Like, where do I get the key? Okay, can we defeat these tunnel critters now? Well, we found a burrito. That's good. Well, that switched something. We accidentally hurt someone? Huh? Oh, no, no, there it is. It's in the wall, I think. Then it goes over here. Right, that's where we escaped before. Wait a minute. Did that unlock the door? Was that the key? Fuck. Oh my god, please. Please. Okay. No, that did not unlock the door. What the fuck did it do then? I don't know what it did. Had to restart router? God damn. What is the purpose of this switch that I switched? Like, what? What was the point of that? Where the fuck is this? So we, I don't know what that switch did. So I'm just gonna keep running around here looking for things to do. Should probably go kill that enemy though for experience.
Holy shit! Dead. The Tyro attacks. Okay, yeah, when we have when we have an ally with us, the combat works. We found one antenna and two meat. Meet the meat. What a crazy fucking game. Ah, okay, I can't use that in the middle. I can't use that out of combat anymore. Used to be able to use it out of combat, but now I can't. You wouldn't happen to be carrying juice, give juice. Way? Thanks! Here, take this key. You can use you can use my monitor. Got soul crisper. What? House key. Okay, we can go into one of the house well, one of the locked houses now, okay. Cool. That is a new action we can now perform in the game sequencing. However, I still don't understand what the point of this switch was that I switched. Which annoys me, because I want to know. Like, this switch just goes until it stops in the middle of this wall here, and I don't know why. And yeah, that, like, I don't, I don't understand. Oh well. So there's a locked house we couldn't go in before that we should be able to go into now if I can find it again. Can we talked to this guy? Yes, we have. I think we're a bit ways away from the actual town, because I'm being stupid. Used house key. All right. Learned soul crisper. The target is afflicted with burning for two turns, causing re recurring flesh damage and reducing flesh gain. Cool. Well, that's a new power, but... How do I go north to get to, to do the quest? That's my question. You can't just collide your face with the edge of the map and then just make it work. How do I get this dock key? I don't know how to slap the bugs. Hmm. 
I have an idea. Actually, have I talked to you? I think I have. Yeah. I have 42 bones, right. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't know what the fuck to do. But maybe that's okay. Because it is the end of the stream. I just wish I had a bit of a clue. Before I, like, uh, before I hop off of it. Is there anything over here? It doesn't look like it in particular. Wait. Okay, there was a... Uh, there's something over here. In this direction. That we have to fly to. I assume. Fuck! Okay. Here we go! I remember now! You walked over here before. Hey! There we go. That's how we do it. Is that anything? No, it's not. Okay. That's a place, I assume, right? Oh, shit. Standard gestural combat garb. Whoops. There we go. All right. Gloves. Tendril hand. Oh, there's water indoors here. Interesting. Anything freakish over around here? Doesn't look like it. What on earth is happening? Oh, we just jump up the ladder until it works. Okay. So we're over here now, but what does that even mean anymore? Like, I don't know if that helped us do anything. We found a vendor. We didn't find anything else. Oh, I found juice. Never mind. Oh, we're back to the the palace. Okay, well. I'm sure there's something else we have to find using this uh this air dash. What if I actually get the fuck out of the way? Oh, whatever. You're probably not the quest objective. Alright. 
Well, you know what? It'll be fine. Because tomorrow, we can just get back to it. And if necessary, I, if I can look up a guide if I don't know what the fuck is happening. So, all right. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back tomorrow to continue this game, Hylix 2. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I really enjoyed the first one. This one is interesting so far. Um, the fact that it's so much more complicated is both impressive, but also a bit like, huh. Like, I'm, not, I'm not sure what to make of it by direct comparison to the previous game yet, but I do like it. It is neat. Of course, the, the art style, the abstract nonsense going on, still love it, right? So, uh, gonna have a good time with that tomorrow, and I hope you all will too. Um, if you happen to be new here, and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours. And this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where it will join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And yeah, I, uh, I went pretty high over time, so I really should get out of your hair here. So uh, yeah, thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again tomorrow with more Hylix 2. Ciao!